Good morning, traders, and welcome back to another morning forecast. So let's just get straight into it and go through all of pairs. Um, starting on UK 100, um, price did push up um, from the trade that we was looking at yesterday, but obviously I had a loss and price come down and swept these lows and then continued up. But now we've had a big push back down. And if we look at the four hour time frame, and we'll get into the other high time frames as well. We are stuck in a bit of a range right now. When you're stuck in ranges, you want to be taking trades from the lowest points or the highest points. That's why I did take this trade. I usually don't like to trade in ranges, but because we had this much liquidity built up here and then a POI beneath it, and it was at the very bottom of the range, I was happy to take it. But if you move up to the higher time frames on this, you can just see it's just stuck in this really bad range just moving up and down in the same area so we need a break out of this area we need a break out of this low or this high realistically so i'm going to be waiting for that so i'll put that into my range market section for the meantime euro cad so we are definitely bullish on this and we've started to push out and we're making new higher highs we do have a POI here, but we haven't got the liquidity build up yet for this POI. We do have this one kind of liquidity here, but I don't like taking them. I need a lot of liquidity to fuel the move. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for enough liquidity build up at beneath your POI or below your POI to fuel the move. So like I've always say and everyone for this to... For this trade to work, we need it within the 15 pip amount of the POI and we need it to take out some highs to the left. Then we know we can take a trade here. So waiting for more development on EuroCAD, EURUSD, we have a nice trade building up here. We start on the four hour, we can see that our overall trend is bearish. Price is starting to, you know, this could be a turning point. But if we look to the left here, when price has been pushing down for a long time, you know, it's some, it's could be that it could be, a, you need to look to the left to see if it's an area where is, is it likely to push out from here? Is it likely to um, reverse the trend from here? So we've, we've pushed past this demand area here and now where did it hit? It hit right here. So there is a demand here, demand here. We haven't pushed them, but this, this is probably a daily demand area here. So, so if you look, this is a very, this area, you can see it's a very strong area. You can see that price has always touched this area and pushed the direction that it's going in here, pushed up right here. So we need to be careful here. <clears throat> so this is definitely an area where price could reverse. So like we are, there is, a, there is a lot of liquidity here to fuel the move. So we got all this here. Definitely within the pip amount, you can tell about four or five, maybe. Or, um, it's taken out this low here. So we do have enough liquidity. Only thing that I'm probably a bit skeptical on this one is where it's coming from on the higher time frames. <clears throat> so, going to need to be very careful at this area, and I. On it, every time I enter a trade, I'm always looking at the volume footprint. So I'm looking at how many buyers or sellers are coming into the market at the time of hitting my POI. And I like to enter. So if if you watch the strategy video, which you should watch the strategy video if you want to follow this, follow my analysis, um, you know that I wait to enter the market. I wait for a candle closure in the direction that I'm looking to trade in. And I use... I use the volume footprint to obviously make sure that the seller, in this case, it'll be sellers. I'm looking for the sellers to be in the candle and in the, 
sell it in the candle and sell it in the market at that point to push the move as well. So I also want to make sure that my volume footprint matches that sellers are in control and on the four hour I check it, they're in control and the high time frames as well. If you've got all of your time frames pointing in the direction of it's heavy sellers, then I'll be taking the trade. Um, I'll probably do a video of a live trade soon so you can see exactly how I do it because you can't actually use volume footprint on the re replay tool. But that's what I'm looking for. So in the situation like this, I'm going to be careful because of where we're coming from. But we do have our model. We also have it on the four hour. So we have this liquidity on the four hour and then it's to go slow. The only thing, so we've got this push up here, then push down, took out this low, but this low hasn't been taken. So that's another reason why I'm a bit skeptical with this one. But we can monitor it at the time. And if I see heavy sellers come in at this area, then I'll be happy to take the trade. So I'm going to put this in A plus at the moment. Um, so USDCHF next. So we have, I think this is, this trade didn't actually appear until after the morning forecast yesterday. So I, I, I marked this yesterday with, after the morning forecast yesterday. But we do have an area here to trade from. And it, the only problem I don't like, the only thing I don't like with this one is that it hasn't pushed up and took out this high. So this high hasn't been taken. And, you know, on the four hour, this is not that much liquidity on the four hour. What I want to see, probably for me to set this trade here, I'm going to want to see, you know, this high, these highs get taken or even these highs get taken. If these highs get taken, I'll be happy to take the trade. But at the moment, it, it's not one kind of liquidity here. It's actually here and here, but straight pushes up and then straight pushes down. I don't really, you know, I need to see more liquidity. You've got, you got to think of terms of, is there enough liquidity to fuel this move upwards? So that is USDCHF. AD USD. We have a nice trade here. Sell it sells. If we look at the four hour, it's pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. No signs of it slowing down or, you know, possibly moving upwards from here. I actually haven't checked this yet. We are in a demand area. On the daily time frame, we have still got a bit to push down because the next demand is down here. We are in a weekly demand and weekly is making higher highs. So this could be an area where it reverses. But again, this would be a scenario where when price gets this area, I'll be looking at my volume footprint to see if sellers are coming into the market and pushing the going to be there's going to be enough sellers and enough liquidity to push the move downwards but just about haven't mitigated this area here it's just hovering beneath it so the liquidity we got here we got liquidity here low taken out here this low taken out here so this one's looking good as well so I'll put this in with euro usd and finally gpjpy we have this area here which On the four hour, it's looking good. We are bullish. We have a four hour area marked where the 30 minute is. And we have this liquidity here. We've also got this liquidity here. And this low is just taken out its own high. So that's enough for me for the high to be swept. It's swept the whole thing. So. We could again. I'm gonna every trade I take, I look at the volume footprint to make sure the buyers are coming to the market. As you know, if you've watched the strategy video, you know that if the candle closes inside the POI, I don't take the trade anyway. So there's a lot of things that have got to come together to take a trade. So again, if you haven't watched the strategy video, it is at the top of the screen now. So you can click that and go watch that so you can follow my um follow my analysis. That is the end of the morning forecast, guys. Again, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. It really, really, really helps. And make sure to like these videos. Um, if there's anything that I'm maybe missing or you want to know more about, please 
um, write in the comments. But for now, um, that's it. And I will see you in tomorrow morning's video.